On Wednesday, January 18th, Hillers Hockey look to continue their winning ways against Ashland. Back over now, Will Abbott's got it, making some moves. The shot on goal, not the rebound, no. And again, the shot, there he scores! Hunter Temple. Another nice move, and that one, good save. Feed in front, another deflection. And they score again! Matt Lindquist with the goal. 4.44 left, two to nothing, Hopkinton. Sends it in, and the rebound, he scores! Will Abbott. Hiller's got the seven nothing win against Ashland. Will Abbott scored two goals and had two assists. Owen Delaney knocked in a goal and had two assists. And Tim McGrath had a nice day in net, earning the shutout. Hiller's boys improved to eight wins, zero losses, and one tie with the shutout victory. On Tuesday, January 17th, Hiller's boys basketball took on Westwood. For the game, HCAM had some well-known guest announcers. Basketball team and the Westwood High School basketball team. My name is Josh Hanna, one of the assistant principals here at Hopkinton High School. I'm joined tonight by, uh, to the left of me, Justin Pominville, our other assistant principal, and the Big Cheese principal, Evan Bishop. We're Thank excited you, Josh. for a great night here, guys. Absolutely, what do you we're think? excited. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Uh, that's going to be a tough test for the Hillers. Uh, Westwood comes in 6-2. Uh, and two. They're a very strong team this year, led by guard Tim Giovino, uh, regarded as one of the better guards in the league. So the H Hillers will have their hands full tonight. Sophomore guard Ben McKenzie dropped 12 points, while senior Justin Blanchard added 11 and had several rebounds. McKenzie. That's oh. a big three by McKenzie. That's his second of the half. After a slow scoring first half, the Hillers led 16 to eight, but the offense picked it up in the second half. Oh, tried to trap there with Kelly and Adams. Westwood breaks it. Good entry pass to number 12. Great rebound Venus. by Ben McKenzie. Yep. So active down there. Absolutely. Good job right there by McKenzie with a good drive to the basket, and he finishes. Oh, nice take. Excellent job. Hopkinton ended up with the huge 43 to 40 win to improve to three and seven on the season. Next game for the Hillers boys was Ashland on Friday, January 20th. In the first quarter, the Hillers took advantage of a slumping Clockers offense and outscored them 15 to 11. The second quarter was more back and forth as both teams knocked down four field goals. Ashland outscored Hopkinton 12 to 11. The Hillers led at half 26 to 18. Easy, making it look easy. In the third quarter, the Hillers got the offense rolling. Brendan Kelly, Austin O'Dell, Zach Sasitsky, Justin Blanchard, and Kyle Rector all chipped in with field goals as the Hillers outscored Ashland 19 to 11. Ashland made a bit of a comeback in the fourth quarter, knocking down four three-point buckets, but it was a little too late. The Hillers still managed to outscore Ashland in the quarter, 21 to 20, and walked away with the 66 to 49 victory. The Hillers defeated Dover Sherborne in the following game on Tuesday, January 24th, for their third straight win, and now stand at five and seven on the season. In part one of the girls' boys' doubleheader versus Ashland, the Hillers' girls were aiming for their ninth win of the season. Ashland led 12-9 about midway through the first. However, the Hillers ended the quarter on a 8-2 run and led 17-14 heading into the second. Hopkinton continued the offensive momentum in the second quarter and outscored the Clockers 13-5 to take a 30-19 lead into the halftime locker room. Hopkinton started off the third quarter red hot, while Ashland started off, well, totally opposite. The Hillers started off the quarter on a 16-0 run. In fact, the only basket Ashland recorded in the third was a buzzer-beater three-pointer, 
Hillers led 46-22 heading into the fourth. Hopkinton put up only three points in the fourth quarter, but the defense took care of Ashland. The Hillers grabbed the victory and improved to 9-2 overall with a 9-1 record in TVL play. The Hillers girls officially clinched a playoff spot in their following game on Tuesday, January 24th when they grabbed a 57-17 victory over Dover-Sherborne to improve their record to 10-2 overall.